the meadow style of design on trend today with summer flowers, easy and fabulous. Let me show you how it's done. In the summer months, we have access to so much more in season. Today, working with a miniature foxglove, so fabulous. Mechanics, it's often better to use fresh water mixed with flower food and floral netting so that there's plenty of water for them to drink. So I have a wooden tray, plastic liner, floral netting taped in place. For additional security, I'm going to use hydrangea as my base armature. Hydrangea, mother nature's natural armature. You can feed right into it. Cutting it down low, so it's going to sit right on the lip of the container. Dipping it in alum. Alum is a pickling spice that helps them to drink more fully, keeping them alive quite well. And just repeating that till you get the entire base concealed, front back and side to side. Now the fun, playing mother nature and building a meadow. Giving it a cut and then feeding it through the hydrangea into the wire and repeating over and over and over with parallel lines so that you stay vertical, no horizontal placement. For interest, adding in a bit of larkspur, the deeper purple, so grand, pulling off some of the side shoots so that it stays more vertical and repeating again with all the lines in place. You could stop there and it's gorgeous, but it's fun to add contrast. So going with some wildflower looks, I've got bachelor buttons and nigella and letting it come through growing almost like it's a weed. Inserting it through. Nigella. So many beautiful, beautiful stems. And all of a sudden, it softens, gives a little bit of interest to all that vertical placement. The recipe, I worked in tins, and I focused on different types of flowers, mass, line, and filler. So I started with 10 mass blooms, the hydrangea, to create the base. Then two different line flowers, foxglove and larkspur, 10 of each. Then for my fillers, 10 each, bachelor buttons and nigella for a full and lush summer meadow. There are so many different styles and techniques in floral design today. This in the vegetative look. You'll find more samples of that and other styles on the website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through there. But now it's your turn. Find your favorite flowers, your favorite colors, and create a meadow. Take a photo, post it on social media, and hashtag Floral Design Institute. That way we all can see what you do as you do something you love.